Welcome back to another episode of What's in My Bag. Today we are going to make good on a trip we tried last week but was cancelled due to the typhoon. So I'm with this guy right here. He has an Explore 25. He doesn't have a core unit in it, just a large stuff sack. I've got an Action X30. Uh, today I'm using a small core unit and I've got it positioned uh, perpendicular to how it's designed to fit and that's mostly because in the last week we've had a bunch of comments about uh, and questions about that fit so I'm going to demonstrate that today. Uh, a couple other things to note is that I'm using a Explore shoulder strap and an Action X shoulder strap. We'll just see if there is any difference uh, with the sweat factor. I've actually tested this a bunch in the past and there definitely is a difference. Uh, we'll just see if we can uh, demonstrate that today though through this video. Just one more thing is the reason I chose the Action X30 today is because I am with my son and I'm just never sure of what's gonna happen with him. I don't know how much of the stuff in his bag I'm gonna have to throw into my bag. So just having that extra bit of uh, volume and the expansion is a bit of a safeguard in this situation. So we're gonna make our way up. Uh, we've got a few uh, more stages of transit to do and uh, we'll get into the Alpine and start walking. This area is directly below the main peak of Oyama in the Tateyama mountain chain. So as you can see here, we have the small mirrorless core unit inside. Uh, it's actually perpendicular to the width of the X30, which also shares uh, the same main compartment as the E30, uh, which means that if you turned it sideways, it would be a perfect fit inside this pack. Now the reason I have it like this is to maintain the side axis. In the last week we've had more than a few questions about side axis uh, with the core unit in this orientation. So now you can see what I have in here. We've got a DJI Mini 2, we have a 16 to 35, we've got a Sony A7 uh, with 24 to 70, a couple of remotes, we've got the uh, DJI controller and we've got two extra batteries in here and here. Water. Oh, so. we've been hiking for probably much longer than it should take because we're just kind of messing around having fun but I've made a unfortunate discovery on the way up here and there's something wrong with my camera the batteries just aren't registering and it won't power up I have managed to power it up with uh, an external battery but that definitely makes it pretty inconvenient to shoot but I'll have to take a little more setup time when I take pictures later.
si Boy. What's it say? Saka ni Ponga by Master Olympic. I didn't really intend to use my uh, backup battery like this, but in this case, I'm walking around with my tripod and my camera set up ready to go. But to have this battery because it doesn't secure to anywhere uh, on the camera or tripod, it's a bit inconvenient, but I can just pop the USB out. Fortunately, I have a pocket right here that I can just drop the battery in. We're just kind of hanging out in this little uh, trail or on the path here. You know, one of the things I wanted to kind of capture on this trip is the difference between the shoulder straps. Uh, unfortunately, there hasn't really been much change because we're at about 3000 meters. It's pretty cool out. It's not cold, but it's, it's actually a really nice temperature. So I'm not actually sweating and we're not really moving at a very hard rate. So maybe tomorrow well, that'll be more evident. But at this time, not a lot to report on that front. But as you can see, we are waiting here. There's uh, some nice peaks there. That's actually the summit of Tatayama right there. Uh, the higher point that is. And that's uh, Tatayama proper. That's a kochi. No problem, eh? Hey, you probably can't smell it, but there's a very strong sulfur smell in the air right now. You can see the gas rising here. We just took a few photos of the same strip and uh, yeah, that gas smell gets pretty strong and uh, it kind of comes up in the clouds here. Yeah. I think that's our sign. We should probably start heading down. Kind of want to shoot on the way down too. Hopefully we get some light. Not looking too amazing right now. Overall, we're having fun. You having fun? Hi. Oh no! Oh, he died. That is. Is it funny or is it uh, pain? Both. Ah, oh, it's okay. <sighs> nice. What did that? That eh? Ah, so good. Eh? <laughs> So our, our only way to actually get dinner is to shoot arimas. The go -getchers. Our only way to uh, snag dinner tonight. Just go, just go. Our only way to snag dinner tonight is if we get it right now, which is kind of in a glorious sunset. So unfortunately we're going to miss that, which is kind of the best time to be here, but uh, it's okay. There'll be other times and uh, we need to eat. Well, we just ate dinner. It's a little chilly. I had to give my shirt up to someone. So I look a little ridiculous. But beautiful sunset. 
we ate during the, the cherry light, but uh, right now it's pretty nice. Well, good morning. We're back at it. It's probably 4.30 in the morning. Uh, it's actually quite a nice morning. Uh, it looks like the light's gonna be really nice. The only thing we're fighting now is uh, someone on my team doesn't feel that genki or he doesn't feel that strong and excited at the moment. All right, so we're just gonna stop here because uh, someone's a little tired, but I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, one benefit of using the small core unit in a bag the size of the X30 or the E30. And basically what's happening here is that the core unit is, uh, it's, it's probably about three centimeters shorter than the actual width of the pack. So it sits in the bag and it's got room on either side. Now, if you put a tripod in, it's gonna push the core unit over. So it's basically leaving uh, about, again, I guess three, four centimeters. So that means uh, instead of using the tripod pouch, in this case, I can use my travel tripod just in the side pocket. But the other thing too with this is that it pushes the tripod in more, so you're gonna have a narrower overall uh, backpack with your tripod on. It is an advantage because it makes it your bag narrower and more compact, and aesthetically, it'll actually give it a nice uh, rounder shape. Let's just open the bag here, and I'm gonna show you one disadvantage of having the small core unit inside. You can see right here the rim of the small core unit. I can easily push it out or it might come out on its own. Uh, is it really a problem when you're shooting? Not at all. It's, it's mostly aesthetic and it'll simply pop back in, you know, the second you lift your bag back up, just like this. If you put too much stuff in the front pocket, it's gonna push it forward more. So the less you put in the front pocket, the less it's gonna pop forward. All right, let's take some photographs. Pretty cool little picture here. It's all lit up there. All right, well, we've decided to wrap it up here. So I'm just gonna deconstruct my setup. Close that up. So I think we're gonna cut this one short uh, in the Alpine. Uh, the walkout's not gonna be too exciting, but I hope you uh, got to get a good idea of the small core unit in an X30 or E30. Uh, in my opinion, it's a good fit. There is some compromise. Uh, this is gonna work in the X50, uh, E35, uh, not as effectively because there's more space in the main compartment. But even in those bigger bags, you know, you're probably better off just putting it as it's meant to lay in this horizontal position. Uh, with regards to the sweat on the shoulder straps, we didn't really sweat much. So even though we did climb up this mountain here, uh, which is kind of sweat inducing, uh, it, the temperature was just right. So unfortunately we did not get to see that in action too much. But as I said, I've tested it before and it's definitely cooler with the uh, air mesh straps. The big difference being the Action X is built for durability. So with action sports, sharp edges, skis, all that kind of stuff, ice axes, picks, uh, climbing tools, etc. You know, you, you prefer that durability in the long run, especially with winter sports. Uh, you're gonna be dealing with snow, which snow will collect in air mesh more. But the other thing with snow, 
is uh, it's just cooler so you don't really get that kind of sweat from your backpack. Now the one other thing we talked about was just uh, using the Xgen X30 because it had that boost in volume and just in case I needed to uh, pack some of his stuff out. At this time, I haven't needed it yet, but honestly, you never know with kids, you know, how serious they are because yesterday he was fine and now he's uh, being a little dramatic. 4 a.m. starts will do that to a person. On that note, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks for watching again and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, helicopter. Uh,